Hi, Sandy Krieger here. Welcome to my studio. I'm going to give you a quick little tour here. This is down in the basement of our house and we added this window down here at the end. This used to be the coal room just to make it a little bit more light. And I put in kitchen height countertops and the reason I did that is so um, and cabinetry is so that I would have more flexibility in choosing the cabinets and the drawers that I wanted. Also it allows me to stand up while I work or I can sit at one of the stools to work too. This first station is my computer is where I do all of my designing of products and, and also where I do my digital layouts and it has a pull-out keyboard but you can see down here I did not want to have my printer and scanner and everything up on the um, up on my desk or counter or taking up counter space and so I was able to with the kitchen cabinets have the option with the really deep drawers and cabinetry of putting that inside which I really love because it just kind of makes the whole area seem more roomy and spacious as well as a little bit more tidy along the whole wall I put magnet strips um, I still have a few more I need to add there but it allows me to put up my layouts and display them or if I have creative ideas that I rip color combinations or something that I rip out of a magazine I can put them up there just to kind of remind me that I wanted to use that color combination. Then I put two rows of shelves from Ikea. Um, the first row is a little bit deeper and it holds um, all of my binders of, of various ideas, creative ideas that you know that I rip out of magazines or that I sketch and all of the magazines and graphic um, design ideas that and books that I buy. On the top I put, uh, I have a huge rubber stamp collection. Love rubber stamps, but I really wasn't using them at our old house because I had to put them away in bins and they were kind of hidden in a closet. So now having them out, I find that I use them all the time. Plus they're just so pretty to look at. I love them. I've added a bunch of little vintage touches to kind of blend the old and the new. So I've got some old cameras. I've got this really cool little piece that Tia Benna did for me with game pieces where she made a tree out of it. Um, some cards. I've got, you know, some old vintage letters and a scale over there. So that's kind of been really fun. And then I also keep a little portable um, manual uh, vintage typewriter up here that I use um, on some of my layouts. And the thing next to it is a check writing machine that kind of imprints numbers. So that's really fun to play with. Um, another thing, the second section right here is my scrapbooking section. and. With the pots and pans drawers, I'm able to organize everything in bins to kind of keep it separated. So it's really easy for me to reach down and just grab the supplies that I need. But if any of you are scrapbookers, you know that you know this white countertop does not look like this when I'm actually working. It's covered uh, with stuff. And the reason I did white is number one, if I get ink or anything on it, uh, this is white Corian. I can just scrub it down with a with an abrasive cleaner and it cleans it right up. And the other thing is that I can see all of the little pieces I want to work with. Nothing's hidden. Uh, as opposed to doing some sort of a granite or a butcher block or something that's maybe a little bit dark, darker, I really like the white and like how it looks. Um, I love vintage stools, so I picked up a couple. This is just a, you know, this one isn't too old. It's just very worn. And that one is a really old Toledo out of a warehouse in Chicago that I love that I got off eBay. Um, I also have in these top two drawers, actually three drawers, are all my tools. The, the, the ones on either side of the workstation uh, I, I leave open and they have all my tools and I can get to them really quickly. Um, another thing I love about my space is that I've got a sink and I do a lot of stamping over here. And so I have in the corner I have um, my acrylic blocks and in that first drawer right there are all of my clear stamps and then I keep on top here some of my favorite letter stamps and that has been really handy to have that there and, and both the drawers pull out so I have all kinds of paints and things like that that I can that are very accessible. I love to pick up old crates and add casters to them and turn them into storage and wheel them around. Um, they're just great. They, they are very functional as well as kind of funky and just add a little uh, variety to my room. Uh, I often will display artwork or something that I'm working on on this window in this windowsill right here. It makes it really kind of pretty. When anybody's walking by our house they can just peek in there and see what I have up for that week. This is a custom paper cabinet that our friend Steve built who, who helped us design this and put this room together built for me. 
um, my friend Susan, he had done one for her and I just loved it. So each, each slot is a little bit bigger than 12 by 12. And so I usually house my paper according to manufacturer, but sometimes I put the entire collection together. So I'll leave the stickers and the rub-ons and everything together so I can find, you know, what goes together relatively quickly. Uh, I also keep, um, have a little day bed in here that I love because if I get tired or if I just want to escape from the family for a few hours and read, um, also if we have guests or somebody visiting and we need a little bit extra space, this is a great place uh, to put them down here. It's very comfy and it's actually pretty darn quiet down here and cool year round, which is just really a benefit rather than being on the second floor. Uh, in the summertime. This is a vintage desk that I picked up uh, at an antiques uh, show and it's a dentist desk so it has all kinds of cool places for tool storage and in the drawers are all slotted, there's bins, it's just kind of a neat piece and this is my sewing station so it holds all of my thread and it also holds all of my Cricut cartridges um, and it's just kind of a fun way to store things and, and not have it be another white cabinet. I picked up this from Pottery Barn. It's just a calendar, whiteboard calendar, which kind of helps me keep on track. Uh, at a glance I can kind of see what's coming up and where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. But I also back myself up because <laughs> I have a really lousy memory with a calendar over here that I keep right under where I'm working on the computer so I can just look down at a glance or if I'm on the phone I can just you know take a note of where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. So that's just a quick tour of my studio. Kind of gives you an idea of the workspace that I work in and um, I'm glad you could join me for this little tour and I hope